Let's keep going on with the roaming. Roaming on this bomb site is crazy. Op four has located a bomb. Be ready for hostile action. For a counter play people playing outside. You don't peek them, bro. That's the commentary. All right. So right in the middle. Not too low. Just right. Just right. Perspective. <laughs> yeah. Well, where's that zero cam? Wow, that's a good zero cam. Got wall banged. Well, this perspective is messed up, so. Running up red, running up red. Go hold red, guys. We need someone holding green as well. I think he's up. Dude, no way, bro. Oh, he's one shot. Why did we not reinforce that wall? Ella, can you play top green? All right, we got focus up here. I don't have a rotate. I swung the right right there because Twitch he saw me on the left. Twitch so I took zero and ninety. Dude, oh, fuck, dude, he's green, green. How the fuck did he know I was here? Ah, uh, such yeah, he just pre yeah, <clears throat> he just pre fired me on that. <clears throat> zero top green. He doesn't have a rotate in yet. Yeah, honestly, that's the thing about the zombie barriers is that like it's so easy to headshot you. Or it's it's easier to predict your headshot. Nice job, bro. Oof. That was a chaotic round. So this is exactly why you want to hold green and you want to hold red with your lives. But when you don't do that, then like the round gets so chaotic at 90. If you just hold sky bridge, doesn't fuck dude, fuck the breach. If they open up, if you hold sky bridge, red and green, that bomb site, you have like the holy triangle, bro. It's, it's, you, you can't lose. All right. Uh, where did I go last time? I was going to go frost. I go frost every time on this bomb site. Go for creative plays. I heard you say default takes are good. Well, default takes are good. Creative plays are more. Creative plays are just finding different ways to fulfill that default take. The area. Keep the bombs creative ways are another word for that is gaps. We want to take gaps in the round. Ready to come. Setting the welcome mat. I like Masher's buff. I don't think it really did much to him, but. Actually, you know, it did pretty decent. Yeah, I'll we'll play them next time. Like the axis powers, yeah, all that math bullshit. X axis, Y axis. How do you beat a team that is better than yours? You play more as a team. You communicate better. They might be better players, but they can't shoot two of you guys at the same time. Or like, you know, you got to find creative ways to pick them off, off of a window or something like that. A good team, you don't want to play into what they're trying to do. You want to like make them play your game. You know, if they're roaming, you roam hunt them. Some shit like that, you know? If they're only one on site, you push that one dude on site. Might be rushing. Walked in. Am I walk in? I'm watching the door. I'm watching the door. He did walk in. That was the that was the Gruesome mark. He did walk in. He might have walked back out of there. They have a shield. 
I need to have more help on site for a trench. I'm the only one down here. Lion and Jackal upstairs. Nine seventy five. Watch this, I'm gonna wait for the LM mine to go off. When the LM mine goes off, then I'm gonna shock in his foot. Yo, on me, on me, the trench. One's going scuba. I'm sitting here waiting for him. Changing mags. He's probably going main. If he tracks me. If he tracks me, I'm going down. I'm watching main. No, just, just stay up here with me. Play the hallway. We have to. I have to distract this Monty. One out four Shoot it, Lucas Foot. He's on me. This fucking dude died, bro. Holy crap. Okay, so. Question <laughs> mark. Nope. Yup. All right. Nailed so. It. Around that Monty, he's always gonna have a person behind him he's he's giving me a constant z ping to me so i have to ignore him you have to ignore him but you have to keep your distance with him you don't want to get too close you always want to f with a monty monty's sole job is to like give a call out to his teammate to come kill you so you need to take the one with whoever he's giving call outs to first but if you unextended the shield then you have to like shoot his foot but same thing with playing versus a blitz you always like any kind of shield op you never want to get close or else there's instant knife you but you need to you need to like pick your gunfights wisely with shields and keep your distance too protect the bomb like never never like fully commit to him you always want to like let him kind of decide if he on extends bro he's he's vulnerable but he will do it a few times to scare you but you just gotta just look for the person behind him Monty drop shot, yeah. There's a thing if you drop shot with Monty, you get instant like accuracy. Like a crosshair gets super tight, and you can just like spam it. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get any. We don't have any snow yet in here really, where I live. Reloading. Cover me. Five seconds to insertion. But again, like my best way to build game sense in this game is just to play a lot. You need to like go through a lot of trial and error. Getting good game sense is not always an uphill thing. Like, oh, I learned new thing, new thing, new thing, new thing. No, you gotta, a lot of your game sense will actually come from losing. It will come from losing super easy games, dying from a stupid angle. Cause you're not gonna learn unless like you die to it most of the time. Like, oh, I never knew that existed. That's why you have to keep a very open mindset when playing this game. You can't then go, oh, this game sucks. I'm going to go switch. All right, go ahead. Switch, you little bum-ass kid. Can't learn. Can't learn a game. Too hard. Want to go back to Fortnite? Going to cry. Go, go play some Valorant. Yeah, see, there's a lot of siege just patterns, man. Patterns and... Like, for example, why don't every round I see some dude hop in this window, open up this wall, come through here, you know, because it's not a consistent pattern. One's in, one's downstairs. Bottom green, bottom green. All right. Because it's not a consistent pattern. But a pattern would be they take bottom floor first. Ram bottom green. However, they take bottom floor. We're gonna make some vert. I have Grismots all bottom red, so if they go bottom red, they'll get. Someone is tracking you. All right, so we're here. 
We can actually just go ahead and I don't want to make sure no one's up top. On this window is on me. Up green, up green. Up green, up green. He's upstairs, he's upstairs. In 90, 90 hole, 90 hole. Kill them. See a chump. I just hit him, bro. You see, I'm constantly moving here. I'm always moving, changing my position. Reload. Jack was green. We have Ella mines in sight. You can play time. Look, if you want to if you want to hit yeah. site, you gotta come kill me. Yeah, one's vending. Ten seconds to go. Uh, four oh, he died to fall damage. Haha, <laughs> he didn't fucking fell. I wonder what I heard over there. Yeah, good calls from the team. Oh yeah, we used to get a lot of snow back in the day. <clears throat> Alright, well, 3 0. That's another thing. Like, you see that whole round, not the whole round, but like that top floor gunfight, I was applying a lot of pressure. Like, I, I was like, I was giving every, like, I was standing on business. Everybody was getting fucking hands, bro. I was wall banging the windows, killed thy caught top green. I'm like, t I'm like taking in and out gunfights with Jackal, like, this is like that was just good. That's why you want to hold top floor or any bomb site. Just knowing how to keep yourself alive. Notice I'm not committing fully to every single gunfight I take, but I'm just like taking the least amount of risk and backing up because I know if I stay alive, then that happens. Jackal's looking for me up top when he has a plan on the bomb. We win the round easy. So you have to like be okay with like just. If you're, if you're gonna die in the round, just, just do it like as delay your death as long as you can. Top floor. So that typically means you're going to get a lot more value out of it. So good game sense, like I said, it, it keeps you alive the longest time with like the minimum amount of risk. Five seconds. But you can also move yourself forward around. I heard Siege takes a lot of IQ and supposedly Siege players are smart, but what you think is true like, comparing to other games. Um, yeah, I think it's just, Siege is just a lot of problem solving. Watch this. Watch this, actually. Can I do this? Option's clear. Hey, I, I'm ready in hallway. That was very risky of me. I didn't need to do that, but I wanted to do it. That's why I wish I had a gone six right there. That Cade was shooting right there, bro. I'm like, okay, I guess fucking swing him. So that was a bit aggressive. I don't recommend doing that all the time. Ah, look at this zombie copying my strat. But that's just that's just like me standing on business. I just swung with my peen out right there. And this guy's already top green, bro. Holy crap. Yeah, let's go in, bro. I'm reading my teammates. I know the map control that we have. He has to move. Wait, bullets will have six. Warden, are you stupid? I just got in a gunfight with you. Kill his ass. Jeez. Yo, Jinxy, speak real quick. No. I knew it. Good play with you guys. Hey, GG's, bro. Not too shabby. Ah, meow. Okay, it was good until that. Alright, so how do you get better game sense of Siege, Joel? 
the hard truth is that you just have to play the game a lot oh i don't want to hear that one here's a quick easy answer well you're not built to play this game then but c4 on the new hatch heard that i think it's really just analyzing how every single one of your death goes analyze your deaths and be like how could i have played that better <laughs> you know honestly it probably would have been better if we just push the basement wait the red wall is not reinforced wait if the red wall is not reinforced then what we have a pixel shield Someone's behind the piano. Yo, oh my god, what the frick? Activating adrenaline search. Reloading. Oh. Oh. Yo, a one stairs together. Thorn is going uh, yellow, white stairs, white stairs. White stairs, okay. I've got a drone watching. Drop the diffuser. Friendly last operator standing. Dude, are you freaking? I got stuck on the couch, bro. Oh my gosh. Look, I got. Oh, actually, I would have died either way. Well. Alright, well, I just got a hella fucking lucky picks that round. Anyways. I, I don't know what the. I don't know what the, the fucking plan there was. Or the freaking move right there was. Honestly, I should have kept going down pixel. It's just that that thorn. I thought that thorn um reposition right there. But the better move right there would have been just to go through Whitehall. <clears throat> Little things like that. But you see like how every time I die, <clears throat> I'm always like, okay, how could I play that better? Oh, I probably should have done this and this and this. Eventually you get to a point where like you've almost perfected it. It just comes down to like little things out of your control. But you, hit, you see, I'm not just like on to the next round, just like just mindlessly thinking. I actively think like, okay, you know. And then next time I play that bomb site, I can I can do that. And that's how you get better at this game. You gotta you gotta like try new things. Don't take ram, so get the pression on top, please. Ten seconds to go. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go Thatcher here. Actually, no. Five seconds. I don't want to push with my team. I've had very many mistakes doing that. Located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Okay, I don't know. We should play Siege like a SWAT team, but SWAT team's kind of crazy. Reload. Reload. So one's back VIP, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, one's in coat as well. This captain Spock himself. Good shit. Captain's dead. Uh, white stairs rotating. Uh, Changing mech. One's also coat. Yeah. I'm pink. I'm pink. I'm pink. Ready, ready. I wonder. I wonder. Coat wonder. Here, I'll push him in second. Nice. nice. Brown, 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 brown. I'm watching brown right now. Wait. Being spotted. Throw so a came here. That's Thorn. Setting up a 
one bakery right now. Let's see the main bridge. Let's push this main bridge. Let's push main bridge. Last one, one bakery. Probably on the side. side. On side right now. I'm just gonna go for a kill, why not? Holy crap, bro. Dude, I see a big old pink little mozzie thing on me, bro. How did I not kill him right there? <clears throat> All right. I think one thing to pay attention right there is <clears throat> understanding the pacing of like how, how your decision making should go. Um. Let's see. But from the transition of like, we were breaking little things down, which is good. Normally we don't have that communication, but like Capkin in VIP, he's stuck. Like on the drone, he's just sprinting around my window. That's a free cutoff for me. So I kill Capkin. The next one is we have eyes on Jaeger in coat. Then we have a guy on brown. So we you know where all the locations are with drones and good information. And then we isolate them one by one. Kill Capkin. Kill Cap. Uh, kill uh, Jaeger and Coat. Kill the guy on brown stairs. Kill. <clears throat> it, it all just gets broken down. But you need to be pushing with your team. Like almost like a, like a seven meter distance with your team. When your team has a certain piece of map control. You want to take that with them. Because if he dies, then you guys lose that map control. But if he dies and you're next to him, you still hold on to it. <clears throat> Insertion in 10 seconds. But when map control is free in this game, that's like a green light to like go, 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 go. Like a SWAT team, I guess you could say like, bro, this guy in the SWAT team, bro. Claude, thank you for the tier one. But like it's almost like a like a switch in my mind. That kind of sucks. The switch in my mind. Uh, when I see map key finger boost. All right, I'm not gonna challenge that. I'll join you, Ace. What was that? Dude, what the fuck, bro? He's above. Uh, oh my god, this guy's just up. Legion's up top upstairs. That's such bad timing. Wait, then there's two offsite then. Legion was offsite as well. Only one site then. Oh my god, Mazzy's a puck window. Puck double window. Where? Prep window, Ace. To your right, behind the bomb. This guy's lost. Yeah. Changing max. Last two should be offside. They should be offside. Just avoid the vert and play the bomb. We have a code cam. Red, 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 red audio. This ace is not watching anything, bro. He's like, let's yeah, go down. Just keep her gun up, Ace. Nice. I mean, nice. Oh my god. Friendly mission successful. <clears throat> oh, snow is finally falling. I'll probably catch up later in the day. Yeah, I went outside to go get like to the, to the garage, and my feet were freezing, bro. But a lot of game sense is like knowing how to move forward in the round with like the least amount of uh, the least amount of pressure, least amount of risk. So <clears throat> obviously, let, let's say like I'm taking bakery, for example, downstairs, I would want to open up the prep wall, drone it out. Um, if a mice playing behind the counter, I know to throw a grenade over. I know not to like peek it dry, you know? You don't want to like, you don't want to expose your whole body because then your character's out of the game. You're dead at that point. So game sense allows you to stay alive longer with like the least amount of risk possible. Oh, 
that's where the smart decisions come out but that also does come with playing the game so you actually know what to do next just be tom clancy tom clancy is rolling in his grave right now and he sees all the warden mains and all the freaking people spawn big <laughs> I should put him down. I actually kind of I died not using that one, so using it again. I won't make this easy for them. Another thing of game sense is, uh, well, I know that the attacking team is going to try to get control of Red Hatch and New Hatch because it's a common thing to do. So with that being said, that's why I'm playing in here. Oh, but this isn't the bomb site. The bomb site's over there and there. Would I just camp over there? No, because you want to be in. I would impact this and now that destroy two ace charges because impacts obviously they destroy anything in the radius. So knowing how to impact trick is really key. Like if I wasn't here that immediate second and now he can't even walk through, that guy's stupid. They can't get the red wall open, only a head hole. He's stupid. I'm actually gonna block this off. Try to get through that. I'm gonna pre-fire this because he's gonna repel. Probably gonna do that a little bit cleaner, but Jesus fuck. Keep it active! Two on the repel. I'm backing up. No, he's in shop. He's in shop. Dude, I needed help right there. Ah, whatever. Look, look, I just, I wasted a minute and a half and it's a 3v3 now. Unfortunately, it is solo queue, so I can't rely on my teammates, but we're in a great position now. We're in a great, Ooh. Oh, is there a reason why we're picking this? Drone on your foot. Okay. You were confided. Friendly last operator standing. Tom Clancy is definitely rolling his grave right now. Alright, we have a BP for sight. Just get up white. He's going in, he's going he in. You're right in cocktail. He's in A. He's in A. In A. Oh my god, that's good. We'll tell you where he's planting. I got calls. He's pushing your bathroom holes. He's going, uh, going default plan. He's outer bar. He's going back to cocktail. Just hide. Five seconds remaining. God, dude, so sloppy, bro. I have to remember what rank I'm in right now, bro. <clears throat> Okay, another way to look at game sense in this game, game sense is obviously decision making, right? And and predicting the plays. And also game good game sense helps you set it gets you in the right position too. So one way you can look at game sense is not only just winning gunfights. It's not good game sense is not just <clears throat> it's not just killing someone fancy. It's being at the right place at the right time. And when I say right time is a general estimate of what you're trying to accomplish. You're always thinking like two steps ahead, one step ahead. Oftentimes you're even thinking until the end of the round, like predicting where they're going to plan. Where are you going to plan on attack? What rooms are you trying to take? Like this should all be pre-planned out. And it's not too much. <clears throat> okay. It's a kitchen defense. They're going to try to open up this bakery wall. They're going to push bakery. Okay, so how can I, how can I delay time and, and all this kind of stuff, you know? Like, I'm thinking about, like, I'm thinking about how can I play more than just a bomb site. 
There's going to be times where you do want to just play the bomb set in some maps, but. Just basically think about it on defense. You're trying to make it as hard as possible for them to get the bomb site and plant the bomb, of course. So we have all this room to work with. We don't want to waste it. If anything, we want to at least trade this map control with some drones or maybe even a body. Oh my God, I fucking saw his little head. Dude, I hate it when people do these little rat peeks, bro. They just tap a little thing in the barricade and then just stick their head in it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunate way to die. <clears throat> I don't know. I probably had a. Uh, I probably had a drone on me, but. The default profile pictures are always sus, but his stats aren't anything sus. One of you guys should rotate down, guys. There's two yeah, of them. Down down Vigil's freaking out. Nice. Vigil, no one's in sight yet, bro. Oh, the breach was open. Never mind then. They ought to shut up now. Yeah, this one's a breach, breach, breach. Oh, that was a bad call up on me. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to sound like a dick. It's just I'm very used to it in this rank where people are to look hella lost. Okay. Slot, thank you for the tier one. I think I think the best way you can root your game sense from is learn how to play the time, learn how to play the clock. The clock will help you because all the players have to obey to the clock. So if you can learn how to play against the clock, you will outsmart everybody in the lobby automatically. So learn like objective plant wise, kind of. That's more for like end game positioning if you have the diffuser. That's why if the diffuser was top floor, you would stay up there because game sense is telling you they can't win the round without this. That's also another thing you think about is like they cannot win the round without taking bakery. They cannot win the round by, by not taking vert. They can't win the round by not killing me on the roam. So when you can do that, then you're playing into your own game <clears throat> and that allows you to you don't have to problem solve as much because you know how to make the enemy play your game. And the second you start playing the other team's game, that's where you start to lose because it's like if I were to go back, it's like in pro league, if one team is playing into someone's strat, they're going to lose most of the time because they pre the other team has pre planned that and they're, they know every single mistake they're going to do. Same thing in ranked. That's why you do default takes is because it's very easy to predict how they will react to when you open up a certain wall, take a certain piece of map control. It Siege is all about patterns. In a game where anything can happen, if you build patterns, then you can build your own current flow in this game. That's why I like that. But another thing you can pick up game sets is just by watching other players. Don't necessarily watch their movement and how they get kills, but like, think of like their decision making. When you... When you watch good players, if you want to really improve your game sense, think about like, okay, what would I do in this situation? What would I do? Oh, wait, he did that. Why did he do that? Why didn't he do what I wanted to do? You know, you kind of challenge your thinking a little bit. And that way you can be like, oh, people will tend to do this because of this. And they're alive longer. They get more kills. So that's how you, a really good way to build game sense.